and it looks like uh, the Captain America 4 sequel has hired a director. The director is a, a Nigerian man by the name of Julius Ona. Uh, looks like he directed the Cloverfield Paradox film before this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's the one where she was like in space. She was on the spaceship while the monsters were, were hitting Earth. Decent movie. Decent perspective on the whole, you know, Cloverfield incursion. I haven't seen too many of his other series or, or, or movies, so I don't really know in terms of racial perspective where he lands on that. I try not to, I try my best not to include, you know, nationality or anything like that when I'm, when I'm judging the, the, the potential of a project, you know, in terms of when we're talking about who's directing, even though so often that, that ends up playing a role. But in any case, I did like Cloverfield Paradox. It was okay. My, my biggest thing with the Falcon, right? It, it, and, I'm, and I'm calling him the Falcon because, like like you told me before we start recording this, according to Nate Moore, he still has to earn the yeah. role of Captain America. Yep. Let's let's put that comment in a box for a second, because because Nate Moore often puts himself in a in a he he often puts his foot in his mouth. Sure. But I want I, I'm struggling to understand the logic behind putting what it seems like you're affirming as your male black lead for the entire MCU because we can only have one and putting him in the stars and stripes now George Floyd Casey Goodson Breonna Taylor Andre Hill the list goes on and on Uh, Jalen Walker right most recently how now feels like the appropriate time to not let to to not break the marvel comic mode right as you often love to do with your characters right and maybe spin away from cap a black man having to wear excuse me falcon wearing the the stars and stripes and being captain america I, I would have thought that that would have been a layup. Like, uh, maybe now is not the best time to have a walking war propagandist as a black man, as a superhero. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's n- maybe it's not the right time to make a black man the long dick of the law in Stars and Stripes. Pause. I had to say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's cool. But maybe that's not the best time to, you know... Just have that, because the imagery is so suggestive, and it, and it, and it it's in direct conflict with what the feeling of black men are are having experiencing in this country right now. It is totally tone deaf. I don't want to see America's super soldier be a black man right now when I don't feel like America gives a damn about me. I don't want the poster child for America to be a black man because the, the, the poster child for all America's problems, according to America, is me. Put in work for who? I don't, want the, I don't want the nigga in the Stars and Stripes alone. So who we need to do extra work for, Nate? Who are you talking to? I know who you're talking to. He know who you're talking to. Who are you talking to? Who does he need to do extra work for? Who? Not for us. Not the people who didn't even want to see him be Captain America in the first place. You could have made a Falcon movie and we would have showed up to go see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The interesting thing about him saying that is at the time we had said that then what was the series for? How how redundant has the series become because of the fact that he still needs to do more work to become Captain America? And I almost feel like if you're going to make a a, a Captain America 4 movie with Falcon as Captain America, he has to go through a lot of the same things that he went through in the series in order to position this movie even somewhat correctly, right? In order for the movie to not be completely tone deaf in, you know, the, the America that we're in right now. He would have to go through pretty much all of the same things that he went through in the show for that movie to not be as tone deaf as it probably will become. 
So since we're sticking to Marvel canon with Sam Wilson, I guess I should expect to see him in a relationship with Misty Knight, right? So I can expect to see, you know, a black, stable, thriving couple in the MCU, right? Because goddamn, we got War Machine, we got Nick Fury, we got... Uh, uh, we got Falcon. We got uh, well, Lamar Hoskins is dead. Uh, T'Challa's dead or dying. Uh, shit, I'm running out of black guys. Hamdo's dead. Killmonger's dead. Uh, anybody got any live black men in the MCU? I'm struggling. Okay, well we got those guys, right? Let's rock with it for a second. Why do none of them have even girlfriends? Steve chased his wife through time. Bruce only recently, as of Endgame, lost his love interest. Thor just got his back and got to re reconcile with her before she passed on to Valhalla. Oh, and by the way, she's not completely gone because we saw her in Valhalla. Iron Man. Tony, yeah, Tony Stark had a literal child with Pepper Potts. Got to reproduce. I mean, it's not like he's royalty and has a duty to reproduce or anything, but... You know, and, and raise that child. Got to raise it. Rhodey started out with with Tony in Iron Man 1. And, and, and still to this day, currently, even in his condition, which he has to be paid. He got to be super paid. He was already a, a general in the, in, the, in the army. Yeah. Now the Stark Tech stuff, his injury, all of that. Man, what? He was literally working for the government when he got injured. You don't I mean he's paid. He paid. One of the highest paid military uh, employees there has to be. Why doesn't he have a wife? You'll probably see Bucky with a black girl before you see. Yeah, no, literally. <laughs> Bucky will be raw dogging Sam's sister before War Machine get a girlfriend. I said this in our in our MCU video. I talked about this in the Thor movie review. I am going to hold myself responsible for making sure that we ask for more. Because the filth that the trash that they give us is not the same thing that they write for themselves. It's the very bare minimum. Whatever is good for you should be good for me. I should not have to take less of what it is that you get. And, and by the way, the, 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 the cultural recognition or the cultural representation should not have to slip for me to get equal status as you. I shouldn't have to sacrifice blackness or trueness to character to just get equal standing. If the cookie cutter setup for a MCU star hero is three films and, and two cameos then let that be it damn it but don't claim to say that somebody is the most iconic iteration ever and you didn't only pay them five million dollars for five appearances over five to six years don't tell me about once in a lifetime performance and you cut out most of their scenes in some of your in your 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 biggest movies and your biggest blockbusters Infinity War, Endgame, and now Thor, Love and Thunder completely cut out a character. What is there What is there to be proud of right now in the MCU along the lines of black people for women or men? So to that end, we in this together because they both, they doing us both dirty. They doing us both dirty. It ain't nothing no better going on on that side for black women than it is for black men. And again, I'll ask this question again. If Shuri is the last hope at, at, at a leading character in the MCU, if Shuri is the last hope and we don't even get that, we don't even get a Shuri going into phase five. What y'all going to say about it then? Anybody going to be willing to call Marvel anti-black? I am right now. Are you? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know really what to expect. Um, I don't think he even had a lot of projects outside of the Cloverfield Paradox. Anything that was like big budget, especially yeah. as big budget as Marvel. 
for so first time doing a movie like this does you know makes me a little weary but i don't know this feels a little bit like the filler phase and even in that even in a whole bunch of filler content we still can't get our our entire body through the door it's only ever a foot got our foot in the door with a with a 1.3 billion dollar performance in a grammy nomination and in that it's it's remained a foot ever since oscar nomination oscar nomination i said grammy didn't i oscar nomination and it's remained a foot the entire time we ain't even got the whole leg in there they're digressing characters they're moving characters backwards and 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 i just don't feel like the 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 addition of sam wilson's captain america does a whole lot to remedy that because there's the inevitable 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 excuse me conflict of him being a walking all lives matter mascot yeah can't say i'm too excited for phase five considering phase four has been such a flop and i don't understand why people were so marvel everything touches everything marvel touches is gold because as far as phase four has come and gone it ain't been so good. Even even the things that don't have anything to do with black people, like Thor hasn't been great. The reviews for Doctor Strange and Thor going into it have been mediocre at best. And so I don't understand how people can think that what Marvel says is, is gold and what they say is law, considering the lackluster phase four. Yeah, I mean, I, some level of it is going to be ignored just because there has been a culture brewing that has been waiting for Marvel to have slippage, to have failures, mm. and they've been preying on it for the last 15 years. The The problem with blocking out all, all, you know, total criticism is that you blind yourselves to racial insensitivities, to you know misogyny to to all all different types of 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 nastiness you know and when you turn a yeah tone deafness when you turn a blind eye when you are tone deaf you're only going to get more of that you're only going to feed the naysayers more and more because it, it it feels at least from my perspective it feels like you're doing it in spite of it's not like as as if no one is discussing this it just it, it tends to go by the wayside when we're talking about us. Give us your thoughts. What do you think about the new director uh, of uh, Captain America 4 featuring Anthony Mackie, Sam Wilson, uh, and any other you know future MCU projects? Go ahead and give us a comment in the prompt below. Make sure you like and subscribe and come back for more MCU content. And make sure you check out our previous videos on Marvel News as well as uh, Recast the Child as well. Uh, we're huge proponents for that. And make sure you subscribe for more. We like to talk about the MCU quite a bit.